Hey guys. So, today we are going to talk about averageness and that which is common. So let's get into it. Now, you see, the other day I was just going through my comments and I was I, I, stuck, I got stuck on this one comment from a person who had in, made some great input on one of my Python videos where I tried to explain that Python is a scripting language and if you compare that towards something like Go, for example, which is a compiled language, I, there's a lot of benefits to having a t strict typing system and having compilation and all of that good stuff, right? And so this person, person kind of touched on something that I think it's important. I think it's important that this, this has to be said. Because this person mentioned that there are actually a there's actually a project that allows you to compile Python down to C, if you wanted to. And I didn't really... I understood it. And I understood where the motivation for this came from. And I understand why somebody would take the time to mention something like this. And I think that's, uh, I mean, there could be any number of reasons why this, w w f that this p person felt that this was important. And I incur I keep, it's great that they, they mentioned this, but what I want to touch on here is something a little bit different. Because although I think it's great that we share this knowledge, because I didn't know that, I kind of suspected that or as soon as I heard that yeah you can do that I kind of went well okay that's cool because let's like if you look at projects such, such as crystal for example it's basically the same idea right but what I think went missing here is that when you say something like that I think it's very important that you in the same breath make it very clear to everybody around you that this is not the common case. Why? Well, you see, guys, because when you say something like that without anything else, you forget that the people who are reading this, especially the juniors, they have no idea what that means. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that it is true that you can literally build almost anything with any programming language, if you really wanted to. I mean, I could build an operating system with JavaScript if I really wanted to. It's not a good idea. It's a really, really bad idea. But I could. It is also feasible that I could... I don't know. I could build a... I could build a web server in C if I really wanted to. That's not a lot, that's not, it's not something that is all that common either. Do you see where I'm going with this? Like, in theory, yes, you can build almost anything with anything. And the same thing goes for this. I mean, there are absolutely projects that you can use in order to achieve certain goals. But my guess is that this comment did not come from from the right place. I think that this was the sort of comment that, and I see this quite a bit, when people get a little bit, I don't know, I, see, I, I most commonly have the, see these sorts of comments and discussions and so forth from people who are very engaged in the language that they're talking about. And the reason why this happens is my, in my personal opinion, my guess is that people want you to, like, like the thing that they like. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this person likes Python and that you can motivate using Python for compiled purposes as well. But what I want you to know is that this is not the common case. It's the same sort of deal with, with JavaScript and Java, like any, any, any language. Because what's important is that you, uh, you, when we're talking about programming guys, you should always know that there is no, it's very rare that there's like a definitive rule that just is universally true. And that's why I try to, as much as I humanly can, to just talk about the common case. Now, of course, I know, I know that there are tons of different reasons for using one thing over the other for the most part. I may not be always, always be telling you that, 
but I will always make sure that you know <coughs> that the opinions or the, the stuff that I share with you is the common case as much as possible because what is common is more important than that you can do something because let's be honest here if you because if you set people's expectations incorrectly or if you tell them something and they don't understand the context for it they don't understand what the common case is then you are give you, you are creating a sense of real, a, re, a reality for this other person that that is really warped it makes them think something is the way uh, in a certain way where, where it's not true a great example of that is when i've seen people who have told complete juniors that they should start learning haskell because haskell how have, have all these benefits and you can do all this cool stuff with it and i kind of go well yeah sure that's great but nobody uses it for like mainstream programming it's used only by a fraction of the market. It's the same thing with F-sharp and like these languages. I mean, they're super cool from an engineering perspective, but very few people use them. So unless the, so you kind of have to say that, it's, like, it's kind of like, it's important to say, like, to give some type of context to, to, to the statement, because otherwise you might end up in a situation where a junior without any type of prior knowledge or any understanding of the context thinks that hey yeah sure i can i can do c programming in python now i can tell you right now that i'm pretty sure i'm i'm fairly sure that that's not the common case python is not used primarily as a as an in between to 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 c it's not that's not the common case for python I know for a fact that it's not the common case. So when you state that, all right, you, <laughs> that you can, then it's important to also explain that, but yeah, but it's not the common case. It's the thing that I, like I, you know, take me for example, I do that with JavaScript. I really like that language. It's a great language. I think it's, has all, all kinds of things going for it. But I w I'm also very transparent with the fact that there are certain things that I would never do in that language. And it's not even worth mentioning to me, or rather, if I do mention it, I always make sure that you understand the context. Because, th I, it's, you know what I mean? If you go to your doctor and you have leg, leg pains, and your doctor is, is going to suggest a cure, well, they're probably, not go they're probably going to give you some <laughs> examples of treatments that are drug-based and they're probably just gonna skip the fact that yeah we could also cut off the leg because yeah it's also a it's it is a strategy to solving that problem but it's like it's not what why would you it, why, it's the same type of deal with this like wh why why does it matter that a language can do something when it's never used for it when it's completely pointless to to do so to, like it's almost never used for it and that's kind of where i want to go with this guys i want you to know that it's not so important when people tell you and give the, you tips about different languages and different tools and so forth don't listen to just what they can do you have to know what the common case is because the common case is the thing that dictates what you're going to use it for there are tons of these different tools out there that you could be using for various things a great example of another language that is used for one usually one single purpose is awk if you don't know what awk is go and look it up it's actually a full programming language well full and full it depends on your definition but it's a t it is a programming language you could do all kinds of things with it but it's primarily used for a very singular purpose. Nobody's there sitting and trying to explain that awk can be used for all these different things because it's not, there's no value in it. And the same thing goes for C. C is, you could use it for absolutely everything, but most people don't use it for anything else besides system levels programming because it's not really, it, it, there's so many other great options out there. So I think that this is important. I think it's important that juniors understand that you have to all, you, you, you don't care about if you can do something with a certain language. You care what the common case is because the common case is the thing that is going to help you the most basically long term. Just trust me on this one and have a great day.